Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you disappointing makeup. So this is products that it just didn't work out for me. And I'm not trying to offend anyone. Like maybe the products that I didn't like, um, they are your favorite makeup. I mean, I'm glad it worked out for you, but it just didn't work out for me. So yeah, let's get it on with the video. First, we're going to be talking about this guy. This is the Clinique Acne Solution Cleansing Foam. And this is supposed to help out for acne. But I didn't see that it helped at all. I feel like I feel like it just made it worse. And it's just a foaming like look, let me show you. Oh, it's like a foaming. And I don't like how it smells. It, it feels like um medicine. I mean oh maybe it does have medicine but i just don't like the smell of it and it's supposed to treat acne and i didn't see a difference i've been using this for a month already and i didn't see a difference um like in the other product that i mentioned in my favorites that one in like a week it cleared my skin so much and this one it's been a month and i don't see a difference and I love Clinique, cause, but I just that one didn't work out for me. I'm be talking about the Urban Decay Complexion Primer. This is a smoothing primer. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's just like a regular primer. I didn't see a difference. And also, what I've noticed, like I've noticed in the other Urban Decay's primer, is that when I blend it out, like I don't know, it's just me, but it starts to crumble on me I don't know it feels so weird like instead of smoothing my face it just makes it so crumbly and I don't know like the other one that all it also does the same thing pink tint I'll insert a picture right here of how it looks and that one it's it's so bad I recommend it buying it I feel like Urban Decay's primers I feel like they're always a flop for me i've tried liking this so much but i mean it's expensive for a primer and it doesn't even work so i want something that's worth my money i have the stila heavens hue highlighter and it's such a pretty color like it's like the little um that it feels kind of wet and when you apply it like it's such a beautiful sheen to it but by the end of the day i don't even have this highlighter on so pretty because it's so natural and mixture it like it gives you such um like a wet highlighter it's so beautiful problem is that it's not long lasting i don't know if it's just me or I have a weird face or i don't know but it just doesn't last the whole day on me so i want something i want a highlighter that lasts the whole day so that's why i'm pretty disappointed in this next is the tarte Amaz amazonian clay highlighter in shade sparkler i love i love tarte but this highlighter is so glittery and i i hate glitter highlighters because i feel like it goes all over my cheek and it doesn't look pretty I want a sheen highlighter like it could have glitter but not a lot like this and when I swatch it it looks so beautiful like it looks like a sheen but when I put my um when I dip my brush in and I put it it's just like gives me like a, a, a spot of glitter everywhere and I just it doesn't look pretty and I can't show you the color because before sitting down and filming this dropped and it went all over my floor so so yeah look now this is how it looks it's a product from Tarte this is the light camera lashes mascara and the packaging is so cute but it doesn't matter how many coats I apply I feel like I don't even have mascara on mascaras that they're like they cool my lashes like how do I explain it? I don't know. So I don't like. I just don't like this. I like to have um, 
really thick um, long lashes and I feel like it just didn't do that for my lashes I love Mario Badescu but this I I just don't like it this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with olive chamol lit and lavender I love a spray setting spray that smells good and this smells so gross like I can't even stand the smell like I'm just gonna spray it I hate I just hate how it smells it smells so gross and it's gonna go on my face so obviously like I'm gonna smell it and I don't know it's just it's just smells so gross and I love Mario Badescu's um sprays I have the other one I don't know with the cucumber one and that smells so good and I was like you know what I'm gonna go buy a different one and I just I just hate it I just I mean I don't hate it I'm just like this smells gross and the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation I'm really disappointed because I saw a lot of YouTubers rave about it so I was like you know what? I'm gonna go give it a try it's pretty affordable so I was like okay whatever I didn't mind and I feel like it's a matte foundation right but compared to my other foundations that I've tried this makes my face so oily by the end of the day like well not at the end of the day like in a few hours like in an hours I start to get super like super oily and also I never never crease here like in my smile lines and this one it creased so so fast like I don't know why like I never had a problem in a foundation that I start to get that I start to crease in my smile lines and I don't know why with this one I started creasing so bad like and like in three hours I could see the crease so bad like not even a little bit like a lot not even my in my other foundation I've had that problem um with that and I don't know with this I I saw that and I tried giving it a try like you know what sorry I said it I said it's super good there and stuff and still like it just went into my smile lines and I never have a problem with that so I just don't like it. so yeah guys that was pretty much it I know it was in a lot of products because makeup is expensive so i'm gonna be buying stuff that i don't like so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye